All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. In this video, we're going to be looking at mass moments of inertia. And so um, in the previous um, video, we went through kinematics um, and did some practice there. So if you missed that video, definitely make sure you check it out and work through those practice problems. But um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, inertia and a ma the mass moment of inertia. So this is more 3D based instead of 2D, where in, I believe in statics, we did just inertia in general for 2D objects, but this is going to be more for 3D um, objects. So let's dive, dive right in. All right. So Number one says determine uh, the moment of inertia of a solid cone with a radius of four meters and a height of six meters about its central axis. Use a density of 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see here. So, what am I given? It's the information that I'm given. Well, first of all, they give us the radius. It's a solid cone. They give us the height of the cone. And they tell us that it needs to be about its central axis. All right. So we're trying to find, oh, they also give us the density. Okay. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the moment of inertia. So hopefully that makes some sense. So are there any formulas that we need for this? So I don't know if you know, but I do not know by heart the moment of inertia of a cone. So I'm going to look up moment of inertia. Let's see if we can scroll through this thing. Hold up. I think we're getting warmer. Okay, so this see mass moment of inertia for looks like some 3D objects. Aha. Spot a cone. And All right, so I think we've found what we needed. Okay, so, and it said about its central axis, which means it would be uh, along the Z axis, all right? Wouldn't be the X or the Y, it's not about its center. The center is coming about this Z axis. So we would be looking at I, of ZZ is equal to three over 10 M R square. Okay. So we got one of the formulas that we will need. Okay. So I sub Z Z is equal to three over 10 M R squared. Okay. All right. Now the thing is, is based on the diagram, what is M? Well, M, if we come here, is this, right? Whoa, not all that. Is M is equal to one third pi R, does that say squared or let's zoom in for us. One third pi R squared H times P. Okay. And that P is density. Okay, so let's get, M first, so 
m is equal to one over three pi r squared h times b. Okay, m is equal to one over three pi. What's r? Well, they gave us r. R is our radius, which is four meters. So four squared times h. What's our h? Well, it's our height, right? And the diagram will help you if you don't know what this stuff is. See, the r sh is shown right here. It shows us that it's the radius. H is the height. Okay. So height of this thing is six meters. Okay, and then what is a P? The density. Okay, and if you didn't know that, density is always equal to mass divided by volume. So, tells us in our handbook too, but they already went ahead and gave us a density, right? And if you even wanted to go even further, what is mass, right? Mass could be in kilograms, volume could be in meters cubed. And so in our question, we have one 1,000 kilograms over meters cubed, which is a mass divided by a volume. So we know that the density unit they gave us is in fact what we need to use. So uh, 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And when we solve all of that you should get 1000 or 100 uh, 530.06 okay all right after you have solved that, and you've got an M, let's plug that into our inertia equation. So I dz is equal to uh, three divided by 10 times M which is one zero zero five three zero dot zero six and then all multiplied by my r squared which is four meters squared all right and for this I get uh, Z Z is equal to four eight two roughly four eight two five four eight kilograms dot meters squared. Okay. So what answer is the should be a key thing here is to make sure that you have your units correctly right um, these units should have came out I believe to be in kilograms I'm sorry I didn't write that out but um, yeah you got your kilograms and then you're multiplying it by a meters a four meters squared um which will give you the units that you need so all right let's move on to number two i hope that you're enjoying this video i just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil fd exam within the next 90 days then you definitely want to check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course 
and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.